drive from that scene in Schertz is another investigation happening right now when it comes to the McKinney Falls Road FedEx facility there. We can tell you that the Austin Fire Department, Austin Travis County EMS are assisting a heavy police presence. APD says there is a suspicious package. Let's go live to Wes Rappaport. We were able to confirm that it's a hazmat investigation. Wes, what else can you tell us? Well, that is news to me here at this point. Uh, I have not seen anything to the likes of that, but uh, we do know that there is a uh, strong police presence here. There are several roadways and entryways to this distribution center that are blocked off at this point. Uh, we have also seen uh, some folks walking around that who appear to be investigators uh, coming into towards the building, walking away from the building. I just talked to uh, one, a couple of different uh, FedEx drivers who said they were hoping to get into work today, but now it looks like they're probably going to have to wait for several more hours to figure out what exactly their plan of action is today. Um, and so there are lots of unknowns here at this point, but what we do know is that there is a police presence uh, and of course we are waiting to see if there is a connection to uh, the uh, situation down in shirts uh, but right now this area is blocked off uh, the entryways and, ent and exit ways to this FedEx distribution center uh, we will of course continue to monitor this and bring you more updates as we know them. Hey Wes, when you were talking to some of the employees who were headed into work this morning, what was the reaction when you told them about what happened in Shirts? Did they know and were they surprised? Yeah, they had heard about what had happened in Shirts and, and they were concerned. I mean, of course, it's a safety concern. They were glad that nothing had happened here uh, that they were aware of, right? So uh, they were worried that you know, it could have been anybody, really, was what one driver told me. He said, I'm glad it wasn't me that it was having to deal with this situation uh, down there. And and uh, it's it's obviously touched a nerve there. These drivers are a little bit worried. They're a little on edge. I mean, he said uh, to me just a few minutes ago, yeah, I'm, I'm not getting paid right now because I can't go into work, but I'd much rather not get paid and not go into work than uh, have a situation that happens there uh, at the office. That's the truth. Wes, that uh, rather large white building we see behind you, is, is that the FedEx facility? Yeah, let me step out here and give you a closer look at this uh, FedEx building here if we can. Uh, you can see straight ahead that there is uh, a police car that's right uh, just to the left here that I'm going to slide over here just a little bit and show you. Uh, as we uh, try and focus it here just a little bit right there. Uh, there is the police car that is blocking one of the uh, uh, entrances to this distribution center. You can see that there are FedEx uh, trucks that are lined up all along the outside of this building. Some of them uh, are open out of the back. Uh, there are a couple of doorways that are open. Others are closed here. Uh, but we can see, uh, we have seen investigators walking uh, around this area. Uh, and so this is uh, what we are looking at from our vantage point here, uh, just uh, several uh, hundred yards away, guys. All right, Wes Rappaport, thank you very much. We'll let you get back uh, to work in that store. We'll check back in with you again soon.